When water is heated in the boiler, it turns into steam. This steam is in turn used to transfer its heat in the process of manufacturing a diverse range of products from soap and beverages to garments and medicines. Once steam gives off its heat, it turns back into water called condensate. This hot condensate then occupies the space in a heating jacket and must be removed so that steam can flow in. The quantity of condensate formed depends on the amount of heat transfer or the amount of steam condensing. Thus, in a cold vessel with a cold product, more steam will give off its heat and condense. For example, if you were to mix sugar syrup in a vessel by adding water and syrup, heating it from ambient to 80 degrees, and then maintaining the syrup at 80 degrees Celsius for 2 hours, the quantum of steam that would condense in the first case would be more than that in the second case. In ancient steam systems, condensate was removed by a valve, but this led to problems. Valves would need to be opened and closed several times and each time along with condensate, some steam would leak through. Ever wondered if the steam trap was not invented, how many valves you would have to run around opening and closing in a day? Now instead of a valve, you could also use an orifice plate to remove condensate. Now an orifice plate is simply fixed at the equipment outlet and it eliminates the need to manually open and close the valves. Since an orifice plate also has a fixed orifice size, it can only handle a limited amount of condensate. When the equipment and the product is cold, huge amount of condensate is formed and this leads to flooding of the jacket. Now this flooding takes place because the orifice is not able to evacuate the condensate as fast as the condensate is getting formed inside the jacket. There is a bigger possibility of muck or dirt getting trapped into the orifice and blocking it for good. Now this clearly highlights the need for a more sophisticated piece of equipment than an orifice plate or a drain valve. This led to the need to develop an automatic valve which would remove the condensate but trap the steam and thus in 1860 the first steam trap was invented. Over the years a number of steam traps were introduced many of which are still being used today. In a world without steam traps just one valve leaking steam intermittently for a year would lead to a loss of enough fuel to make almost 2 lakh big bottles of beers or enough to circle the world twice. Now have you ever wondered why do we need to eliminate this condensate? The only reason we need to remove the condensate as soon as it gets formed inside the jacket is because water is a bad conductor of heat. Having a layer of condensate between the steam and the jacket is similar to trying to heat a product in an equipment with walls as thick as brick. Thus, to improve the process of heat transfer from the steam to the product, a steam trap plays a crucial role of evacuating the condensate, a bad conductor of heat, as soon as it gets formed.